back what he says, specifically the part about electing a Christian leader who is Christ-like. Would you admit that he got? He, he shouldn't have said that. I mean, it's a perfect statement. First and foremost, let me ask this question: Is it not true that the Ghana's population, a uh, Christian, from seventy percent? Is it not true that Alan is a Christian? Is it not true that while he was making a statement, he was meeting a uh, Christian? Is it not uh, in a chapel? Yes. So what is wrong about that statement? But in the first place, mm -hmm. the uh, the pastor who preached that day made the statement that in this country, Christians form seventy percent of the population. So every member should make sure he gets to the world and make sure he wins a soul for the Christ uh, for Christ. So when Allah was called. He retreated the pastor's comment of Christians being 70% of the population. And he was saying that, yes, he will be contesting this year's elections. If what the pastor is saying, and Christians decide to even vote for him, he has won the election. And he is not saying they should vote for just a Christian leader, but a Christ like. What are the characteristics of Christ? And he mentioned them. Christ was compassionate, he was this, he was that. Because of that, they need a leader like that so that he will not come and law over them, but to be servant to Daniel. This is all what he said. And MPP is having problem with this. I'm shocked. You know, Dr. Baumia in MPP primaries, he met the Muslim. He made a categorical statement that I am not contesting for my own decision. I have been selected because I am a Muslim. And I'm coming because of you, the Muslims. So all Muslims must vote for me. He made this statement clear. That time, it seems another press map was deep that time. Maybe he was dumped that time. So, he couldn't make comment about that. Not only that, the National Natural Coordinator at MPP's Thanksgiving service made that same statement that this time we are going to have a Muslim president and a Christian vice president. And they say what? The National Youth Organizer, Salah Mustafa, made a similar statement that Christians have been president all this while. So it's time for a Muslim to be a president. They didn't say anything wrong. Look, we are telling them they the MPP people. Alan is going to repeat this same statement. He will be saying it everywhere. Because this is the campaign. And the campaign, you cannot take away the tribe, you cannot take away the region. Only the Ghana, we are being hypocrites. Oh, we can't do this, we can't do that. Are you getting it? He is saying that he should show one country in this world that has based his addition on uh, the theory that is professing. Look, can a Christian be a vice president in Niger? Where uh, a Baumia's wife come from? Are you telling me we don't have Christians in Niger? Do we recall a particular year that they say, oh, Niger had a, 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 a Christian president or a Christian vice president? It has never happened. Can you be a Christian and be president in Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger, uh, Algeria, Tunisia, Morocco, and the rest? You can't. Look, we can trace this to the beginning of the world. There was a man called Abraham. Abraham gave birth to two uh, uh, sons. One is called Ishmael, one is called Isaac. 
at a point he blessed them and then they left. Where Ishmael dominated, all those countries that the descendants of Ishmael dominated, those countries are being ruled by the Muslim. Nobody can tell me where you go to Burkina, we don't have churches there. We have. And where Isaac dominated, Christians rule. And Ghana is dominated by the descendant of Isaac. Since independence, Kwame Nkrumah's time up to this time, it's been ruled by Christians. And we are not going to change the status quo. I can say for mistake that, oh, Dr. Hilary Man, Dr. Hilary Man is not a Muslim. Dr. Hilary Man was a Christian. He that Catholic or Assemblies of God, one of uh, uh, these studies. So I don't see anything wrong about what uh, 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 Mr. Lancherman King said. Are you suggesting that a Muslim is ordinarily not not qualified to be president? Not that Ghana? he's not qualified, but the, the, the status quo a Christian will lead this country. Which status quo? Nowhere school? in this world. Nowhere in this world. Which status quo are you referring that to? That is what I'm saying. Nowhere in this world that a minority rule over majority. That one is not going to happen. But our constitution is specific. The, Christians against the discrimination. Majority. I said Christians for ah, part uh, discrimination. Let's go to let's go to parliament. The two dominant parties had 137, 137 in parliament. The first day, didn't you see the fight? Until the independent candidate declared for a uh, 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 MPP party, there was a fight about who should form the majority and who should be minority. So that should tell you that in democracy, minority cannot rule over majority. And we are just being hypocrites in this country. And you're determining the minority based on religion when we are not a country that is religious. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. We are a secular country. You're saying that not. is incorrect. We are not a secular country. Look, I can show you, I can push a, 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 a publication to you where president was addressing somewhere. And he said that our constitution is a secular, but Dada is a Christian country. Ah, you have a Christian forming 70% of your population, and you say it's a secular country. It's not. It's not. Muslims are 17% of the population. And then our traditional authorities and others also form the rest. So in every democracy, Majority rules. That's why I was making a statement that, look, there is no a smarter politician in this country than J.J. Rowling. Do you know why? No. When we to... were entering a uh, fourth republic, J.J. managed to win the sympathies of the Muslims too. Inside. And realizing that Christians form the majority of this country, he decided to go Christian Christian. Show me. From 1992 up to now, apart from, was it uh, uh, one of the, listen, that uh, uh, Mumuni came in as a running mate. Apart from that, NDC has never fed any Muslim because they have studied and they realize that, look, Christians dominate. So always they go Christian, Christian. And they win. So there's no, there's no, uh, 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 there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong to stand before Christians and say that, do this to me. Let me give you one example. I was looking for that video and sent to your producer. Where, though Mahama was invited to a Muslim program, Dr. Bawumia was there. John Muhammad spoke and then he quoted some of their Quran, so so and so and so. When Bawumia took over, 
Go and see how he was messing him up. That now, uh, because your Mahama won their vote, it's now coming uh, to Muslim program. So let us pray and make sure he turn to a Muslim and all those kind of things. He was speaking in Abuja. And the way he was laughing, and he called John Mahama Malam Bon. Nobody in MPP saw that as reckless. Nobody in MPP saw that as bad word. In fact, but questions see, were raised. I the fact that blame, within the MPP questions were not people. raised doesn't mean that questions should not be raised by others. We, if the ah. if the issue is with the new patriotic, in fact, when Doctor Balmia said that questions were Ghanian raised, than other. nobody is no uh, more Ghanaian than other. If Balmia says it and nobody can ask question, nobody can say anything wrong. If another person say it, there is nothing wrong about that. There is nothing wrong. Who is more Ghanaian than other? That's an interesting yardstick to use. Because the fact that somebody does something wrong does not excuse your wrong, does it? Ah, so if I say I am a Muslim, vote for me. Then because you are wrong. a Muslim. But if I say I am a Christian, vote for me. There is something wrong. Ah, no, I am saying that what he said if it was wrong. Yours, what Alan said. But I want to ask you a question: Would Alan Chamanting seek the vote of Muslims in this? Election? Why not? Why not? He meets Muslims, you talk to them. That's the word for him. You see, one thing that one thing we are missing is that Allah was not sitting on radio making this statement. Allah was not at a rally ground making this statement. He was making the statement in a church. Except you are not a politician. If you're a politician, your messages will vary from one point to another. So you get to a point, you study the people you are meeting, then you speak to them. You cannot go and meet teachers and you'll be talking about buying guns for them. Mm. You cannot. Mr. Adoy, uh, please kindly hold on for me. We have Mr. Richard Anyangwa on the other line. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Good morning to you, Richard. Good morning, sir. I hope you're doing well. Uh, quite well. Mm. Uh, mm. uh, well, uh, let's start with uh, your I, what your I issue. Can't hear, I can't hear Richard. I can't hear Richard. Okay, we will try. We will try and rectify that. But I can hear him, and I'm sure my, our listeners can. Uh, uh, even if you don't hear it, I'll summarize whatever he said. Oh, uh, that would be that would be unfair. I want to hear him. <laughs> well, we we'll, we'll, we'll work on we'll work around it. Work around it. Uh, but, but, but Richard, you have an issue with what was said by Mr. Lanchamanting. What's your issue with it? Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, Stella is uh, my brother from Susan. Can you hear me? Uh, That's what he said. Uh, Hobson, can you hear him? No, I can't hear him, sir. You still can't hear him? Yes. Oh. Okay, but but please, Richard, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, okay. So, uh, sir, I thank you and uh, good morning to your listeners. Um, I apologize. I was supposed to be at your studios on Friday, but something came up. I couldn't come, so I I, I duly apologize for that. Um, so on this matter, I will tell you by saying that um, earlier I know my brother Hobson, a brother who is a good member of our party, has worked very hard. Uh, was misled to follow the Honorable Alan Kujucha Mate, who himself was misled by his own ideas to leave the party. Uh, they belong to the MPP, but then somehow, for personal and some other parochial sentiments, they've left the party. But today, and following that statement, I've come to fully understand why he left the party, and I can say on authority, or some version of uh, with some measure of conviction that my brother Hobson should come back because he's been grossly misled. The reason Honorable Hankojutsa Martin left the MPP is very, very clear to me now. It has nothing to do with the false claims of I have been cheated. It has nothing to do with anything to do with the election, but everything to do with a possible possible election of Dr. Mahmoud Naomi, and that for me is very sad. You see, it is nowhere 
in our constitution, I think Article 62 talks about qualification to be president of this country. There is no way in that constitution, which is the manifest document for, uh, with which we are working with to grow this democracy in the South Republic, there is no way in that document where it says that you must not be a Muslim, you must be a Christian and be a Christ-like leader in order to become president. It's no way in that document. And so when anybody, whether in the church, inside the church, or on top of the church, to say something like that, that person, first of all, is leading the people, two, is creating division of, of, of enormous proportion in this country by introducing that language. By introducing that language, you are aiming at the national security of this country. To say that we should distinguish between those who are uh, who subscribe to a Muslim faith and those who subscribe to a Christian faith, and going further to establish that based on that distinction, it is only one class of people, one group of people, who can lead this country. So that respectfully, we are not a theocracy. What Honorable Allah Kujo Chabati said. It's leaving Ghana and presenting Ghana as a theocracy. We are not. And nobody should countenance that or nobody should try and compare that to anything anybody has said. Because the context is different, the presentation is different, and the intent is different. And I want to submit that we desist from that conversation. I hear my brother says that he will say it everywhere he goes. That is very dangerous. Right in the from the outset, we know that their campaign is going nowhere. But now they have actually ditched their campaign because no Ghanaian is in the mood to accept this divisive coverage as acceptable. This divisive coverage as politics as usual, it is not. It's a dangerous conversation, and we should stay away from it. So. Hmm. But he is also suggesting. First, that this is a campaign platform. He was speaking to Christians predominantly. He wasn't speaking to the entire nation. Hmm. But now it's before the entire nation. And that is why, uh, Zena, the way you behave in private, okay, or you behave in public, should not be uh, in disalignment with the way you behave in private. Because what you are doing in private has potential of coming out. And so you just have to be a consistent human being. And so if uh, Hobson is uh, excusing for that conversation to have been a private conversation in, a, in the four walls of a church, then the, the credibility, the integrity of the candidacy is questionable because they behave differently in private and behave differently in public. And I think that is a dangerous character of a leader. That is worse for us to actually be excusing him on that basis because what he says to us in the day should be the same thing he says to us in the night. There shouldn't be any inconsistency in his presentation. Otherwise, as a leader, you can't trust him because he will tell you something in the in the morning, in the afternoon, you tell you something different. That is character question of the candidates that uh, my brother Hobson is presenting, if that is his argument. If he is making the argument that Oh, because he was in the church, he's free to tell Christians that Muslims cannot be a leader, which is not factual. So when he meets Muslims, what would he tell them? When one then uh, Alan uh, Chamantin calls to meet the chief national chief imam, what will he tell him? That Muslims can be president now? Then what he's going to say? Would you trust a person like that to be your president? Now, for me, uh, so now, this is not even a campaign issue. For me, this is about a human issue. This is about a citizen issue. This is about security issue. So let's take us, let's put aside the politics of it. It is just an inappropriate comment to make by one who is seeking to be a leader of this country. That is the emphasis. It has nothing to do with politics. Completely. It just has everything to do with you being a good member of society. You don't dis you don't divide the society you are seeking to build. And this comment, this comment, Sema, I can tell you that is the worst comment yet made in this fourth republic by any politician because it has the potential to break this country apart. And we should say it as it is, 
And I was saying just yesterday on a, a different program that personally, personally, honorable Akudu Chabat have great respect for him. The good politician, he's, he's had great opportunity to serve our party and country. And so, as ordinarily, as an as an individual, I have great respect for him. You, you understand? Mm. Even though I didn't support him to become our flag bearer, if he had become the flag bearer, I would work for him with all of my heart and make sure he becomes the president of this state. But on the on the basis of what he's saying now, I have every conviction to disagree with him. And if he were our candidate and he said this, I would disagree with him. Quite simply because for me, I appreciate the diversity of our of our country. And in fact my, our party appreciate the diversity of this country and wishes to leverage that as a development tool, not as a tool to divide Ghanaian, but to bring Ghanaians together so we can work and, 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 and enhance our chances of building a prosperous country. And so he is completely out of the space for this conversation, and we should just call it what it is, an unacceptable, divisive comment that should not be repeated by anybody. Whatever your motives are, it should not be repeated because that can destroy this country. But he says you are, what you're expressing is what is typically called selective outrage. That okay. where it concerns somebody within your party, you are quiet. But when it comes to somebody that's outside your country, your, your party, you come and you are speaking that what he said is not different from what Dr. Baumia said during the campaign. Vote for me because I am a Muslim. I was voted because I am Muslim. Are you saying you didn't hear any of those? Repeat what you just said. I mean, I didn't, I didn't that Dr. So Baumia, Dr. Baumia during the elections. In fact, there's a video, if you like, I'll share. Let me, I, I think that this will help the discussion. Let me share with you. This is a video that was making the rounds. Let's look at what will benefit our people. I have been selected partly because I'm a Muslim. So I'm selected because I'm one of you. I'm not representing myself. I'm representing all of us. So please support, support. Let us make a difference in Ghana in our generation. Thank you very much for that. Uh, uh, did you hear that? Um, uh, so unfortunately, your your line is quite shaky. But if you just summarize for me, what exactly? What's the point? He said he was selected because he was a Muslim, and that he is representing Muslims, and that Muslims to support him. That was okay, Dr. Baumia. Uh, and, and you are saying that that statement is what? <laughs> that is it not the same as what Alan Chamantin said? <laughs> that he was also seeking Muslim votes because he said that I, I am a Muslim and I represent you. Look, this is not any anywhere close to this conversation. And I want to I want to actually make the point before I address that question to say that uh, this conversation we're having. Uh, in relation to what Honorable Lakodio Chamatin had said, um, is is nothing to do with Baumia, right? It's just a poor statement that was made, and we're dealing with that. Now you are injecting Dr. Baumia in this question that he's made a statement saying that they should vote for him because he's a Muslim. Is that what Honorable uh, Lakodio Chamatin said that they should vote for him because he's a Christian? Is that what he said? I think it was he part of the that. statement he made. He was making a religious statement that has never been made to say that this country is predominantly a Christian country. We are at heart, okay? Even if there was, a one, if there was one person in this country who is a Muslim, we are not a Christian country by that definition. We are a secular country. But Brother Hobson should understand that it's not only Muslims, Christians that we're talking about. We're talking about people who, who you know, own the land. They are traditionalists. Right? They're traditionalists. Is he saying that we are a Christian country, okay, stepping aside the owners of the land that they are not to be taken into account? And so we are a Christian country. Who told him that? Is this a Christian land by design that the original people who inherited this place were Christians? No. The statement Alan made went to the heart of a society.
society that is together. They will divide us. Imagine that a Muslim responds to that. Imagine a traditionalist responds to what he said. Mounts a platform and say, no, this country is not a predominantly Christian. The owners of the land are traditionalists. Do you think we'll have peace in this country? Equate that to what Bahamian may have said, that you're saying that it's a vote for me because I'm a Muslim. Tell him Muslim, vote for me. Is that is it on the same scale? Something as destructive as that, something as divisive, completely unacceptable. Let's not compare that to anything. Is that statement singularly is the worst statement made by any politician in the history of this world public, and we must put it on record as such. Nothing compares to it. Let's not even try. That what Doctor Baumia said cannot be compared to what Allah. No, they have nothing in terms of but, magnitude, in, in, in terms of this, this disrupting the peace and the social cohesion we have in this country. It has nothing close to what uh, Honorable Alan has said, and nobody tried to compare that. It's an attempt at justification and uh, and is Dr. Baumia also not suggesting? Is that. Dr. Baumia also not suggesting that? The only reason a Muslim should vote for him is because he's also a Muslim. That that suggests that Muslims should vote against any other person of any other religion. But did he make a religious case to say that? The fact that he does not say that, the fact that he does not say that doesn't mean that that should not be inferred, should it? we are talking about an express conversation that says that don't vote for Christian because this country is a Christian nation which in the, in the first place is wrong okay to you saying Sena you come to me and say oh I am I am ever so vote for me that's what the NDC has been conversing all along that's what political party have been conversing all along and we say that is unacceptable and I told you in scale that this statement is the worst that has been made by any politician in this fourth republic to say that this country is predominantly Christian. That is a that is a unspoken or spoken issue in our politics to say that we want to bring out all of us together, Muslims, Christians. And you know, in in in, in our sub region, the issues that we are dealing with. And across the world, Ghana is admired as one of the countries where Christians and Muslims fraternize in peace. Right? Then we sit together, we go to school together, we work together, we are friends together. I was growing up in Lima. I have friends. And during uh, Ramadan, incidentally, it's Ramadan uh, time, when they fast in the break, they fast in the evening, we sit, we eat and break fast, even though we didn't, we didn't fast with them. Okay, so there is that unity that we have forged as a people. Nobody should be allowed. Nobody, nobody should be allowed to test that unity that we have forged as a people. Let's not even try to allow anybody to equate anything to it so that you can get away with it. We should call it out squarely that that is a dangerous statement so the person knows it so they don't repeat it. Nothing. It's equal to what Honorable Akodim Jamati said because it is aiming at something that as a people, if we don't stop him and other people who are thinking about it, if we don't stop them, we will destroy this country uh, on the altar of people seeking to, to want to come and lead it. What would they have to lead after all mm. if they destroy this country? So, so, me, so, so we condemn what uh, so we condemn what Alan Chamantin said. You said it's outright outrightly divisive. Would you would you defend what Dr. Baumia said if he said it again? There's, there's no problem with it. So uh, if you want to have a conversation of dialectics, of looking at what people say and we'll pick it out and discuss it, we can. But I'm just telling you that on, on balance, what has been said has no comparison in political oratory. So it is not condemnable. Is it? Not at all. It's, an, it's, it's not condemnable. Which one? <laughs> what Dr. Baumia said is not equally condemnable. Are you suggesting that? I understand your point about Alan Chermanting, but I'm asking you, because they have also said, you have said the same thing. So you, 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 you don't have the moral grounds to raise issues against what has been said by Alan Chermanting. So assuming that what Alan said is condemnable, would you agree that what Dr. Baumia also said is equally condemnable, or it is not? So, you know, 
you know that uh, in this country, you can't take the law into your own hands. It doesn't matter how egregious somebody has offended you. You can't take the law into your own hands. You report to authorities to deal with the matter, right? So that in, in seeking to make this comparison, let me let me give you this uh, anecdote to see. If, so, if for are, example, you, are you giving all the time to him? No, I, I'll speak to you. Oh, Don't worry. But, I'll come to you shortly. So, give so, me so Sarah, Sarah, if, if because hope said slapped you, okay, maybe in a disagreement, hope said punched you on the chest or something, then you, on the basis of saying that hope said punched me, you go get a cutlass and slaps him in the back. And that probably leads to maybe some other or fatal incidents with hopes. We're talking about proportionality. We're talking about magnitude of a statement that is made. The fact that he punched you does not give you right to go aim at everything that belongs to the society. The comment it that doesn't mean that say because I have not Hobson cannot I'm also not admit it doesn't mean that Hobson can also, also admit that I was wrong in slapping you in the first place, does it? Now I'm just coming to answer that question for you. Because I have not heard the statement you are referring to, I'm unable to uh, discuss that fully. But what you have satisfied what you have told me which is a summary is your summary of the matter to wow. say that he said that vote for me because I am a Muslim. I am telling you respectfully, Senna, it is not the same thing uh, Alan said. Alan positioned his statement to let people understand that this is a Christian country. And I'm telling you that is not true. My grandfather, my father is not in that definition. That uh, 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 Alan is giving that this country is a Christian country. It is not. The owners of the land are not Christians. Okay. By design. Okay. <laughs> so you cannot make that statement to say that don't vote for anybody but a Christian. That is a, a disruptive statement. That is a false statement made in a church that cannot be compared to anything. I, I, I don't it disagree cannot. with you, but I'm saying that. Are you saying? And I, I think I'm, I, I'm no, over repeating, but I think Mr. I get your point. But thank you. Mr. Host, okay. that, so, let, let me come to it soon. I get your point. Analogy to you. Yeah, uh, I, I, I get you. I get you. I'm just saying that in the history of this world, probably nothing is as divisive as what Alan has said. Okay. Uh, let, let, so let, let's, that okay. statement cannot be equalized. That statement cannot be explained away. That statement cannot be excused. It is singularly the worst statement. So let's put it in that category. If tomorrow we want to compare other comparable statements, then we can do that. But mm. now that statement Thank you. Out Thank of you. Left field. Richard, I, I get your point. Uh Hobson, I, I'm sure yeah. you've heard a significant part of what he said. What do you say in response? You see, this makes the uh, the entire MPP a hypocrite. They are hypocrites. First of all, a vote for a Christian more dangerous than all that be done. When the presidential candidate of MPP made that statement, all that be done, we printed t-shirts, all that be done, with guns and other things, and every MPP member was wearing. It was not dangerous. But vote for me as a Christian is dangerous. Is it not hypocrisy? You play the tape to him right now, unless he tells me that that voice is not Dr. Baubier's voice. It's a video. So if he says it's not his voice, you push the video to him. And he's saying that that's why he's not condemnable. Abba. Ghanaians listening to us. You should make an informed decision that, look, this country, we have people who are genuine and those who come and lie to you and take your vote. Richard should not talk about credibility at all. You are talking about credibility of Alan Jamande. Don't go there. Radio station. Because your oh, candidate oh. has no credibility. Oh, From 0 to 10, it was called 0. When it comes to credibility, 
From zero to ten, Allah will score nine. So that's why it should not come in. My brother, how do you determine that a, a country is a, a Christian, is a Muslim, is a traditionalist? It's about science and data. Numbers. Ghana Statistical Survey has made it clear to the uh, population of uh, 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 housing and population census. They have made it clear that, look, the, this thing, uh, Christians dominate. The, the entire population, Christians are 70% plus. Muslims are 17%. And the remaining one for the traditional and other uh, faith base. So how there can you stand there and say Ghana is not a Christian country? Please, stop that. We are a Christian country. President Akufuado said it recently. That though our constitution is secular, that Ghana is a Christian country. My brother, let me try and get the screenshot that I, I picked from. Uh, that is in, and send it to your, pro, uh, your producer and see whether I am telling the truth or I'm lying. It, it cannot pick and choose, but we may have made similar religious statement. It should be condemned. Apart from that, the national coordinator of MPP made similar statement that this time we are going to have a Muslim president and the Christian vice president. Why? Richard, what, what is that? You were there. Your national youth organizer says Christians have ruled this country up to now. So this time, Muslims are taking over. What did you say? We should not be hypocrites. I say what uh, Alan Jamatin said was okay, it's timely. He has made the point clear. Everybody has understood him that, yes, Ghana is a Christian country and they need to vote for a Christian and then a Christ-like. My brother, when we say Christ-like, it's not necessary maybe who attends church. It's a behavior. Those who behave like Christ, those who are uh, truthful, those who are not corrupt, those who are compassionate, are the Christ-like people. So it can be a traditionalist, but you will see the Christ-like uh, 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 in that person. Radio station. You can call your so what is your comment uh, uh, about this? Because they are looting. Richard, let me tell you today. MPP defeat huh, will be a record for someone to beat in future. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I made the statement that, look, this country, God, in his own wisdom, gave it to the Jones to rule. That's why the first president of the republic, in the fourth republic, was John Jerry Warren. The second president, John Ajekum Kufo. Third president, John Evans Atabur. Fourth president, John Mahama. All who are going for the fifth. We departed, and then we went for William. You see the consequences of it. Look, December 7th, Ghanaians are returning to John. And it's John Alain Tremantin or John Mahama. One of these two people are going to win the election. One of these two is going to win. Whether you like it or not, Ghana is a Christian country. And it is so. You cannot come and tell us the addition is it. We are working with science and data. Uh, so what is your basis to say that Ghana is not a, a, a Christian country? But Ghana, but Ghana also recognizes every other religion. In fact, if you look at if you look say, if you look at, at the schedule of our holidays, we we acknowledge the Muslims when they are uh, we, we're giving Muslims holidays, we're giving Christians holidays. Don't, don't it means that we recognize don't, don't both hear religions. What, uh, Richard is saying. Don't hear it. I beg you. Just last two weeks, Alan Chemanti was at the Chase Man's uh, 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 house. He presented rice and sugar and milk, water to them to feed uh, uh, those who are passing. Why? If he doesn't recognize the Muslim community, will he go there? When he heard that this man's uh, 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 wife passed, 
He got there before even the Muslim got there. Are you getting it? So we should not draw that in. I am saying that in campaigning, you speak to specific issues. When you meet a group, it's what you tell them. You don't have anything that that's why I made everything that. You cannot go and meet the military and tell them I'll be buying you talk. For what? I see. They will not mind you. I see. Whenever well, you tell them that I am not, I'm going to get you for a sophisticated weapons to guide the country, they'll be happy and follow you. Well, we have to wrap this up. Uh, so, you, Hobson Adoye, and the movement of change, mm-hmm. w- movement for change, will not admit that what he said was wrong and divisive and no, withdraw. You cannot take religion and apologize. out of. You cannot take religion out of our party politics. You cannot. The same thing, you cannot take tribe out of it. Why is it that my home country, uh, uh, region, Kota region, is a stronghold of a particular party? No, Why do you I, I do that? understand that. In fact, I, in the past, when people have made tribal no, and you, you comments, coming. I'm coming. they, they, they have been asked to apologize. They, they've me, been condemned around me. Let me make this point clear. Why is it that Vota region is a stronghold of a political party? Why is it that Ashanti region is a stronghold of a, 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 a political party? Because you cannot take that from them. Voter region, we believe that, yes, NDC was formed by a, 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 a Votarian, and they own that party. If you go to Ashanti region, they think that, oh, the party was formed by an Ashanti, and they own that party. You cannot take it away from that, uh, from them. Are you getting it? So, we cannot come and say, and say oh, oh Ashanti, why is it that everybody is targeting Ashanti region? Why? So, n- we should not be hypocrites. Of what we are discussing, this, that, 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 on the ground, it's not like that. Look, the things that they go to meetings and say, if they should record it and put it in, uh, in the public domain, what would they go to say in this country? They say, well, things. You don't come and then be, I mean, treating yourself as if you are, you are, uh, 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 or whatever. No. Mm. So you spoke the truth. No apology. Look. But here's one, me, I am not going to condemn because he met the Muslim community and he want to convince the Muslim community to follow him without condemning him. Okay. So, him. so Alan spoke the truth and you will not apologize. Uh, that's why I ask that. Is it not true that Allah is a Christian? He is. Mm. Is it not true that he was speaking at church? He was. Mm. So what is the problem? Okay. He is telling the church, if nobody recorded it and put it out to outside, who we'll written get to know of it? Okay, uh, uh, Mr. So what, Uzzandra, what is he talking about, Mr. Uzzandra, th- Thank you very much for speaking to Let's us. Let's stop that hypocrisy and then we move forward. I say MPP is going to uh, lose this uh, uh, election very big. Mm. Thank you. The difference it will be a record in Fourth Republic. I am telling them. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. Uh, 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 Richard, you, you do have the last word on this. You still insist that what is said by Alan is very bad. Alan should apologize. But Dr. Baumier's own, we should have a separate discussion on it. By Miles, there is no, there's no comparison between whatever comment you are saying. Because if Baumier had made a similar comment on the magnitude uh, Honorable Alan Kojucha Matez made it, Ghana will hear about it. You are telling me a story that I... Ghana has said about it. it, it's just that you have refused to hear about it. No, no, I'm saying that if... Because you are here, you, you, I don't know if you discussed that comment on your platform the way we are discussing this one. And yes, so of course I'm we did. That there's nothing comparable in this matter, okay? Uh, it's, a, it's for me clear in my mind that anybody who aims to destroy... The cohesion, the include the societal unity that we have in our country. That person is not a friend of this country. That person must be told in the face that you don't belong in in this society with the language you are speaking. That's completely unacceptable. You can't lead us. So, two, let me let me make the point that Hobson should not mislead Canadians uh, on the record or history of the new patriotic party. The new patriotic party, yes, in the Fourth for Republic, but for, for the convenience of politics, it is seen as a, an Akan party, not an Ashanti party in any sense that he's trying to portray, because of uh, you know majority and the false representation of history. The, the formation of our party, the UP, the, where we 
the tradition originates. Mm? It's a melting pot of uh, regional groupings across this country. In there, you have the Anwar Youth Association, that's part of it. You have the Northern People's Party, that's part of it. You have the NLM, that's part of it. You have the Gassi Form of Fit, that's part of it. It's a convergence, a melting pot of political, regional, tribal groupings that evolve based on the laws of the time prohibiting mm. regional groupings or political parties. So the new patriotic party drawing its heritage from the UP party. It is not the ethnic group of people that form that political party. Okay. It is just by sheer convenience in this fourth republic, people misrepresenting the history for purposes of politics, and that has become the case. But it's not true. And Hobson knows about it because he's defended this position before. So if him take the convenient position of being in some movement today and therefore uh, mislead Ghanaians. The mm. truth of it is that uh, the, the comment that Honorable Allah has made is completely in bad taste. It should not be countenanced by anyone. Let's condemn it. And if anybody has another conversation to have, we can have that. But okay. let's not mix it with anything and say this one to you, say this one to you, say this. And you, the journalists, are the chief uh, proposers of let's not equalize. And this equalization is the worst of the century if anybody tries to do it. We're saying that we are one country, we are one people, traditionalists, Muslims, and Christians. We are coexisting peacefully. We are working arm in arm to build a country for ourselves and for our children. Let's keep it that way. Let's not allow anyone for their own parochial, very, very parochial uh, interests to come and destroy what we have built together. As a Richard, That's thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Richard Ahiagba is Director of Communications of the New Patriotic Party. Be angry with what um, they raise issues with what the Mr. Alan Chermanti of the Movement of Change for change has said uh when pointed out to him that dr baumia made similar comments he said dr baumia the gravity of what he said and what Doc, uh, mr lanchamati said are two different things uh movement for change will not apologize mpp2 will not apologize in fact uh, it seems it is uh, the direction uh well